Where are you at the moment? In Gablitz. We are uh, rehearsing in Gablitz. Yeah. Um, and we will leave at half past three to Vienna for the concert tonight in Theater am Spittelberg. It's Wonderful. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is so exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's, it's well, welcome uh, for you, it's welcome back in, in Vienna. And for the rest, it's welcome to Vienna from Belgium. Indeed, yeah. Indeed. For the second yeah. time, uh, yeah. For the second oh. time, it, it's a bit uh, strange because we saw each other uh, end of October. And yeah. then there was the second lockdown. And we didn't play together since now, since today. We are playing for the first time since the second lockdown together, and we are playing again in Vienna. So we are becoming almost uh, an Austrian group. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but isn't it amazing uh, that you, um, you know, through this time and now coming together, does it uh, is it um, is it easy now to start playing together again? Everybody has uh, rehearsed his own pieces and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we did a couple of uh, uh, live streams in the in the meantime, so we um, we were busy. Uh, you were, yeah, so you were connected and, the whole time. Yeah, that's true, and and also we we had a new technique um, of rehearsing together. We use a, a nice program, and uh, mm -hmm. it allows us to to play together uh, unseen the the distances. Yeah. Okay. It's a nice and program. Wonderful, but first let let uh, introduce yourselves, please. I'm Floris. I yeah. am the violinist in the group. We we are the brothers Dries and Gert. Dries is playing the bass guitar. Uh, I'm playing the piano. guitar and piano and electronics. And uh, I'm Simon, and I'm the drummer. Oh, uh, Simon, uh, you you um. You look like the drummer of the band because the drummer is also <laughs> always, always the, the chilled one. <laughs> okay, but now so let's let's carry on without the with uh, about the practicing so or the rehearsing together um, online, and because this is what everybody's saying is that there's always this delay um, with with Zoom and so on. So how do you manage that? Yeah. Well, in fact, it's that particular program that um, that makes it work. It's um, Gem you can, Gemless. It's, Gemless, it's yes. called Gemless, and uh, mm -hmm. it washes away all the delays, or or it tries to. Yeah. All the it's called latency at uh, the, the the time in between the the signal from Austria to Belgium. Um, yeah. and that's is disappearing um, with. Uh, you can adjust uh, the quality of the audio signal so the everything is in time and uh, yeah that was a way for us to to keep yes. on um, working on new because uh, it, it's um, the, the quality is not good to really um, finish a song and, and yeah. make everything um, performance ready but we had a couple of new ideas and we could work it out in that way and we could create some new things. Yeah. But you know, this is what I find, um, this lockdown situation, of course, was not good and it was not ideal. And, and for many people, it was really a very difficult time. But if we look at now, if we hear something like this, for example, this is now creating also, again, a new opportunity that you might have not thought about um, before and that yeah. this would make it now more possible for you to um, practice together or to to um, yeah, you pieces. know be together with uh, without being physically in the same room. Yeah, that's definitely the case. Mm -hmm. I mean, Simon, I'm grateful for Simon because he he knew about it. I I didn't know it was possible. I, I thought it would be impossible because there would be delay and then he, he came up with this idea and then I bought the cable because this is more stable for the mm -hmm. faster connection. Yeah, and it, it worked. It worked. It was, it was great. It does not work all the time. Uh, no. Sometimes when there is a lot of people on the internet on certain days, certain hours, mm -hmm. uh, it can be a little bit tricky and there is some delay and the quality isn't that great. But um, when you rehearse at a Sunday morning, 
uh, then then it is very possible. Yeah. And of course, it's just a solution. It's not as good as being in the yeah. same room indeed. And uh, but yeah, for those lockdowns, it was a, a good mm. solution for us. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it's uh, like you say. It's you know, it, ideally, it would be to be together. But if it just can't, then um, you know, it's it's a solution. So are you all, um, I've spoken to Floris already and I know he studied uh, here in Vienna. And did you all study also music uh, in Belgium? Yeah, I, I studied, I graduated actually uh, two years ago from, um, I studied in at Lemons Institute and it's a conservatory near Brussels in, in Leuven. Okay, uh, yeah. Leuven near Brussels. So I, there I studied uh, classical guitar and piano, um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, we did not. <laughs> we did not. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we, we are very passionate about music, but we did different things. Simon. Uh... Yes, I, I have had music classes, of course. Um, yeah. I, I, um, I uh, but not not conservatory level. So okay. um, at eighteen my my lessons were finished but i kept playing of course and i play in in different orchestras so i keep busy um with playing yeah this father his parents are, uh, are musicians as well his father was my one of my guitar teachers before really oh wow yes, that's so so Oh, so you play guitar and violin then? I, I, I stopped. I played until I was 16. I played classical guitar a lot, yeah. actually. Then I decided to focus on the violin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, um, and, uh, but do you have then other day jobs? They, um, yeah. So what are but, you, what's your profession then? Well, in, in daily life, I'm a physiotherapist. So I'm working as a manual okay. physiotherapist in a practice yeah. in health. And, uh, and then I combine it with uh, art and music, yeah. uh, mainly in the weekends and in evenings when I, when I have free time. And yeah it's, a, yeah, it's a big passion of me. So I like the three. Oh, uh, yeah. And Simon, you, what do you, what's your day job? Um, I'm a high school teacher, Dutch and Latin. Oh, okay. Oh, wonderful. So um, uh, that's so interesting that you come, that this is the combination now and, um, you know, that you all have then this, this passion for music, but then can do yeah. other things as well. So what about the program that you are playing tonight? Tell me about that. Yeah, we are playing on one hand, classical pieces that everyone uh, knows probably we are playing them in a flame version we are arranging them uh, in a unique way that's what we love to do we take works from Bach from Glass from Paganini from Saint-Saëns um, and we arrange them mm. and on the other hand we play some um, more popular music for example a, a band named Wintergatan from Sweden that was formed in 2012 they play uh, electronic pop music and we arranged that for our group as well, our and, and our own compositions as well. And we our make. own compositions oh. as, well. as well. So it's a combination of those yeah. three aspects. We like to be creative, actually. So that's the, yeah. that's the idea, to be creative and to propose something for, for a broader audience that maybe doesn't uh, appreciate uh, a classical like Bach sonata, mm. but that, that would not like to know a bit about the violin and a bit about like music mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. for the people who will, uh, would like to see it tonight it's in the uh, theater am spittelberg in mm -hmm. in uh, vienna yeah at uh, seven o'clock yeah and um it's a uh, very interesting that you say that about the uh, connection with the people um uh, you know that's not people who necessarily they like classical music, they like the sound, but they're not so into the more uh, in-depth uh, classical exactly. music. Yeah. Exactly. But that you are also now um, a young group, a young musicians, and connecting, I think, with a different audience, with a younger audience. And it's like this, this is what I get excited about, is that you now can introduce 
a, a part of the classical music to a younger audience and to a, yeah. a newer audience. Yeah. It's for all ages. We, we already played for uh, young, young people music festivals, but mm -hmm. our music is also uh, good in, in, in just a classical setting of uh, a concert setting with uh, that's traditional, more traditional pu public. Um, 